Welcome back guys, uh, this is Prashant from Make Marketeer and uh, today I would be uh, teaching you or speaking more about how to track conversions uh, when somebody calls you from your website. So we call them website call conversions and this is one of the most important features when you're working with a website whose intention is to drive calls and they track these phone calls as conversions. Right. So if you're familiar with AdWords, if you're familiar with AdWords, see what you do is you create a campaign and you set up call extensions and uh, in the call extensions you give your phone numbers and people see the phone number and people click on the number. If they go to dial pad and they call you, they might get a call and they might get a sale. But the question is when that sale happens or when your customer is getting a call, how are you going to count those calls as conversions? And to count these calls as conversions, in AdWords, you have a feature where you go to conversions and you set up a conversion tracking for phone calls. And I will show you step by step. And, uh, and, and But what happens is when people don't click on the ad, they click on the ad, uh, sorry, they don't click on the phone number, they rather click on the ad and go to website. When they go to website, they find their number. So when people go to the website and call their number, the, the sale is coming through ads. But question is, how are you going to tell your client that this call is from AdWords? So we learn more about these things. We learn as to how Google helps you capture phone calls as conversions and website call conversions. So let's jump right in. And uh, I'm going to the AdWords account. You see, if I want to, if I want to track phone calls as conversions, I go to conversions, click on tools, get to conversions. Once I get to conversions, here you can create a new conversion. So I create a new conversion. I click on the plus symbol. When I click on the plus symbol, it gives me so many options. If you want to track conversions that happen on the website that, that people uh, you know, get to like a thank you page or a, or a final page. So you go with website, they give you a code and you put that code on the final page. And whenever people click on the ad and happen to go to that thank you page, Google will count it as conversion, right? And if you're already familiar with AdWords, you're working on advanced concepts, you might know Google doesn't count only those clicks uh, on the ad and then happen to visit the thank you page within one day. No, you click today and you happen to go to thank you page in next 30 days, still Google will count it as a conversion. So Google takes a lot of credit for conversions that happen within the next 30 days after the ad click. Even though those sales have been heavily influenced by Facebook or any, that, any other ad marketing channel, but essentially, if in that conversion path, if Google finds that there was a click in the last 30 days, Google will attribute that conversion to Google Ads, right? But here, we're not going to talk about that. I will, I will go create a phone call conversion. So see, track phone calls from ads or your website. So I click this phone calls. Now it is asking me calls from ads using call extension. Now remember call extension, it's an extension which allows advertisers to display the phone numbers in the ad. So when your ad is served to people, they might see the ad or they will see the ad, they click on the ad, they go to website. But rather than making people click on the ad and go into the website, there they find the number. How good will it be if you can show the phone number right when they see the ad? And, and again, that number is clickable on mobile device. That number will appear on both desktop and laptop and mobile, but it will be clickable only on mobile devices. But if a user chooses to click on that number, the user will not go to website, rather he will go to dial pad and Google will charge you irrespective the user calls you or not. Google will charge you for the click, Google will not charge you for the call. But Prashant, when user clicks on the number, they go to dial pad, right? And from the dial pad, imagine he happens to call you and the customer gets a call. How are you going to track them and how are you going to count these calls as conversions to essentially track these things by doing this setup? Right. So you click these calls from ads and then you click on continue. You can say uh, phone call conversions. You can give whatever you want. And if you want to assign a value, for example, every time this happens, you want to count maybe my call is worth like thousand rupees. So every time Google tracks this call as conversion, Google will send a value as thousand rupees. So you get 10 calls, Google will count it as a uh, 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 thousand into 10, which is 10,000. And then that would be your revenue. And, 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 and I think you might be knowing this, if a person clicks once and calls you twice, you want to count both of them as conversions or only one of them as conversions. Uh, if you want to count both of them, you can select every. If you want to count one, you can choose one. Right, call length. How long do you want the 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 the, the customer to speak uh, until you want Google to record that as a conversion? So, if person calls and speaks only for thirty seconds, it will not be counted as conversion. A user called but he never spoke for thirty seconds or sixty seconds, it will not be counted as conversion. If he ever 
he 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 happens to speak for 60 seconds or long that would uh, that's when it would be counted as conversion so i'm i'm giving all these things conversion window and uh, attribution mods a big topic you will learn more about attribution models in my other videos i'm not going to speak more on that because a very complicated and complex subject and you will learn more about these in details in our boot camp so if ever interested to work real time understand these things in real time come to our boot camp and boot camp is 100% real time it's india's first 100% real time digital marketing version so i click on save and continue or create and continue you're done you're done you created a phone call conversion so when you set up call extension when you set up call extension let's go if, if you're setting up call extension what you have to do there you have an option called call reporting on when you put call reporting on what google does is google will not display your number google displays their google forwarding number their number and whoever clicks on the ad they or whenever people see your ad they don't find your number in fact google replaces your number with their number and whoever clicks on that particular number they go to dial pad and from the dial pad they happen to call they call the google forwarding number but the call call get connected or gets connected to you through their console and that is how google keeps a track as to how many people have called you right if you don't want to track them you can simply say call reporting off and when you do that you would not be in a position to track these calls because google will display your number and when people click on that number which is specifically on mobile devices they go to dial pad and from the dial pad they happen to initiate a call google will not be able to track them because google have no source or no way to track these phone calls that you make if you want to track them you have to use the option of google forwarding number and uh, after you implement google forwarding number and you set up conversion tracking here with the phone call that we have just done google will count those calls as conversions because google knows because the person is calling the google forwarding number and not every call will be counted as conversion when a person calls that number and speaks only for 60 seconds or more it will be counted as a conversion now here comes the problem the main thing i'm creating the video for the, the, the actual concept what happens prashant when people see the ad they see the google forwarding number they click on the number they go to dial pad right but remember there might be some situations where people don't click on the number rather they click on the ad if they click on the ad they go to the website if they click on the number they go to dial pad on mobile devices because number is clickable only on mobile not on desktop but number is served on desktop right but prashant what if you think like this uh, a number is displayed when user sees the ad or when you get an impression number is there but that person did not click on the number that means he is not going to dial pad he clicked on the ad and when he clicked on the ad he goes to the website and in the website he'll find the actual number of the advertiser he will not find google forwarding number so if people click on the ad and go to website and call that particular number the question is how are you going to tell advertiser that these calls are calls from ads and to to do that you 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 had no other option earlier but now that google have an option we'll discuss more on that if you go back and history what you have to do is you have to put some separate number and whoever calls that number you tell them hey this is uh, a call from ads or or you use some third party services like myoperator.co you they give you one virtual number and whoever calls that number you understand it's a call from ads but you have to get a separate landing page for that you can you can say everybody will see that number so again everybody sees the number how are you going to differentiate who came through organic and who came through paid so you have to create separate landing page and put separate number and drive people to those and and drive people to those uh, uh, landing pages and when people go to that page and people click on the uh, people click on the uh, number and call them and and that, that that way they get recorded they understand that's a call from ads but here google came up with a new option called website call conversions so we'll do that we go to conversions again click on new conversion now we clicked on the phone calls from ads now we're not going to do that we're going to do something called calls to a phone number on your website when you do this what happens is when you do this google will give you a small code a small snippet for a phone number and this snippet has to go on your website and when you put this on the website what happens is people click on the ad people come to the website they will not find the advertiser's number that number of advertisers will be replaced with a google forwarding number you understand when people come directly they'll not they'll not see the google forwarding number they'll find the advertiser's number but that advertiser's number will be replaced with google forwarding number if that user happens to come through google ad that means the number is getting dynamically replaced with google forwarding mm -hmm. number and that is going to happen when you do this so i will call this as website call conversion not phone call conversion i'll call it as website call because people are not clicking on the number people click on the ad and go to the website so again i say lead it is asking me amen how much is the, the call value to you so uh, uh, 1000 rupees and i want to count one 
call length is 60 seconds like it, it is there so I click on continue now you see here Google will give you one extra tag right now if, if, if you go to tag manager you can implement directly through a tag manager but I'm, I'm going to show you how it works if you're going to code it hard way right this is the global site tag this code you have to place it on every page of your site and you put your number here for example if I put my number and I say create snippet now Google will give you one snippet and this snippet has to go on every page of your site why when people click on the ad and come to your site this snippet is the one that will replace your number and put Google forwarding number in place of your number right so again to do this you have to go to uh, the back end you have to ask a developer you don't have to do that that is where the tag manager comes into picture now what we will do is rather than using this we'll use the feature of Google tag manager now you see Google tag manager tag manager gives you conversion ID and the label so I'm going to conversion uh, I'm going to implement website call conversions through Google tag manager so I go to Google tag manager I click on new tag when I click on new tag I see website call conversion Google Ads and here you don't have to choose analytics you have something called not Google Ads conversion tracking also you scroll down Google have yes you see Google Ads calls from website conversion so I, I put this it's asking me what is the number that you want the Google forwarding number to be replaced with so this is my number and system is asking me can you please replace your uh, your conversion ID so I'm going to replace my conversion ID system is asking me for conversion label as well so I copy the label from here and I put it here right and this has to be triggered on all pages right so I save this so what happens is after I save and publish this what happens is when somebody comes directly to your website in the website they find double nine four eight six three four five one six which is my number because it's not coming through Google Ads but if anybody sees my Google ad and click on that ad and come to my website this snippet that we've just published or deployed this snippet will replace my number with Google forwarding number so this way what happens is whenever people see your ad and come to your website your number is not displayed Google forwarding number is displayed and whenever people call that number those calls will be recorded as conversions provided the call lasts for more than 60 seconds so this is how you can talk to your client and tell them these are the calls that have generated for your business and these calls are calls that are generated from Google Ads the other calls that the advertiser might get maybe from people who are coming from Facebook or directly when those people happen to go to their website they'll find the same number the advertisers number that data will not be available in AdWords but if ever that person happens to click on the ad and visits a website through Google Ad the number will be replaced and who's going to do that this snippet and how did we implement that through Google Tag Manager earlier without Tag Manager you have to go and put that on all pages by asking your developer but that's the advantage of using Tag Manager so you want to learn more about Tag Manager in details and all these advanced strategies in depth on a real-time website you can come join us in the bootcamp it is truly truly in depth you can come you can get to become a real digital marketer with all these advanced advanced tracking uh, uh, and reporting and, and optimization techniques. You learn about uh, uh, enhanced e-commerce tracking, dynamic remarketing, you learn about cross-domain tracking, sub-domain tracking, you learn about various other, other things, various other things. And uh, thank you so much, Get Connected. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share other videos teaching you as to how we can learn deeper things about Google Ads and Tag Manager also. Thank you so much and stay connected. I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.